Hey everybody, it's Gamer Number 98 here and Squeaky Chair. Oh, a fairy! Um, catch the fairy. There we go. That's not a fairy, that's blue stuff. <laughs> you caught a fairy in a bottle. Your new friend will give you life energy the moment you completely run out. Yeah, basically acts as a free life, if you will. Anyway, welcome back to Majora's Mask. Last time we finally got to the swamp. And it is part, well, let's advance the story. But right now, I didn't actually talk to this business scrub over here. He's actually an, like a next step in the side quest involving the title deed that we got a little um, uh, earlier. Thanks for shop. Thanks for. <sighs> Thanks for stopping. You're not from here, are you? No, I came from Hyrule. I sell magic beans to Deco Scrubs, but I'd really like to leave my hometown. I'm hoping to find some success in a livelier, livelier place. But to open a business in another place, you need to go through the proper t channels first. Do you know what I mean? We don't have that. Now, normally this business scrub is here to sell um, magic beans, but only to Deku scrubs. And actually, he won't he won't sell them to because he he think he think he don't know how to use them. And here's Kume. Um, I won't lie, but that is actually a bit creepy looking. Ah! Did I scare you? Well, that's the the only thing scary about this game. Oh, oh. oh um, <clears throat> oh, thanks for what you did back there. In a special deal just for you, I'll let you take this cruise for free. Ah, yes, we've got a special going on right now, so we're giving this out for free. You got the most worthless item in the game. You got a pictograph box. Press C to look through it and A to snap a picture. You can shoot only one pictograph at a time, but you can retake it as many times as you like. Yes, the pictograph was in Wind Waker, but this is where it all started. And well, you don't use it as much here, that's for sure. You only use it like, what, once? If you take a nice picture from the boat, take it to that fella over there. Alright, the boat's leaving! So we're gonna get a boat course that will take us to the next part of the swamp. Welcome to the boat cruise, please set your pictograph box in, look, yeah. Please enjoy the swamp scenery to your heart's content. But really, you don't need to use the picture box, you're just here for the ride. And we can move the camera around with the control stick. We can get some pretty good angles here. That's not a good angle at all, that's just a creepy angle. Oh, but it gets worse. Oh my god, Link doesn't have a torso. <laughs> Alright. Now, we're, we're gonna hear Big Octo, but thankfully... We kill it! This... This was a boating accident. So with that big arc talk away, we can access this second part of the swamp. But be careful here because the water's not the water's not safe. It's poisonous and will drain your energy when you're in it. Now arriving at Deku Palace. The swamp water is poisonous here, so please watch your step. Are you disembarking? If you select no, it will go back to the tourist information center by going over there where the other big octo is. Alright, so there's a monkey here. He's gonna lead in us into the Deku Palace. So in we go, and we get pretty cool music. That was just me tapping on my controller in time with the music. I'm playing a rhythm game on my own. I made it myself. I call it Generic Rhythm Game. This is the Royal Palace of the Deku Kingdom. This is no place for outsiders. Alright. Well, get this. I'm gonna transform right in front of you and talk to you in my new form. Let's see what you have to say now. This is the Palace of the Deku Kingdom. Only those on official business may enter. 
but you may enter to see the public humiliation of the foolish monkey who angered our king. Follow this hall straight to the royal chamber. Do not enter any other areas whatsoever. Okay. We can go left or right, but not right now. We say we just want to go straight ahead. So now we're inside the palace, the Deku King's chamber, and... Whoa, you have fire here! That's not good for us! Hmm. Rumor has it that the monkey ate the princess. How frightful. Sounds like something you'd see on DeviantArt. <laughs> Lol. Only royal family members can enter the sunken temple, so it's obvious that the monkey was using her. I saw it. And it can't be unseen. That monkey and the princess entering the temple at night. But only the monkey came back out. Well, apparently the monkey ate the princess, so they both kind of left, didn't they? The tiny princess only recently learned to play the Deku pipes. His Royal Highness was so proud of her. And over here is generic butler. God, everything's generic in this episode. Now, now that our beloved princess is missing, the king has been unable to keep his cool. I fear the princess may be caught up in some kind of trouble, just as that monkey claims. But in his current state, the king can't even send troops out to look for her. What are we to do? Well, we could have a chat with him with his... Uh, what the hell? Oh, <laughs> I'm ta No, stupid targeting. Nice crotch leaves. You got anything to hide? No, you don't, because it's the N64's limitations. I haven't seen your face before. Are you visiting? Usually, I don't allow the likes of you in my royal chamber, but today is different. We're about to punish the foolish monkey who kidnapped the Deku princess. He has insulted the royal family. I'll show him what happens when you do that. That foolish monkey is up in that cage. Take a good look at his face. Like we have to because, well, we've seen monkeys before and he's the same. He's just a generic monkey. Only, he definitely has higher intelligence, that's for sure, because he doesn't have the speech impairment that the others do. They keep saying that I kidnapped her. No matter how many times they say it, it's not going to bring the princess back. If they're not careful, the princess will fall victim to a monster. Please, believe my words. Well, what do you think we should do, guys? Should we help the monkey out? Well, you know, it's pretty generic. Of course the monkey's telling the truth. But right now, this is where you'd really want to use your pictograph box. You want to take a picture of the Deku King. I think that would do. You see, normally, when you take a picto, a pictograph, of something, anything decent in the swamp, then the guy will offer you either five rupees or another boat cruise. But if you take a picture of the Deku King, you get the reward you truly want. Was my brother alright? Head banging! Did you see entrance to cage? I just love that. I just love how Link's programmed to always fix his stare on the character who's talking. So he just, you know, moves his head around in time with the character he's talking to. And even Tadl does the same thing. Look at her go! We know secret route there. Enter secret route from outer garden entrance. But entrance in tall place. No one, no can reach it. Need bean from bean cellar. Live beneath palace garden. Mmm. Understand my meaning? No is pre-selected! Not this nonsense again. Oh, you smart. Plant bean in soft place by outer garden. You figure out rest. Hurry, help brother. So off he goes. So there's two entrances. Um, I, I think it was the um, right one we had to go to get to the bean cellar. But whichever way you go, you will have to do a bit of stealth. Because there were these guards around. And they will basically catch you and throw you out if they see you. The only line of sight is right in front of them. So you can stay behind them and be safe. If they catch you, they'll throw you out the palace. Um, don't be stuck. 
Oh crap, he's... Oh, I... Aha! I didn't do there, I've been caught. Jeez. I guess what we have to talk to him again is like, You SHOULDN'T HAVE DONE THAT! You shouldn't have done that. Well, that's a famous quote for this game that's not even in the game itself, but... That's for later on in the LP. Everyone knows what I'm talking about already, so... Probably doesn't matter right now. Um, will he see me if I went over now? Well, now he will! Okay, go, 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 go. He can only see what's directly in front of him. Okay, wait for that one to go away. Oh, crap, I'm in a bit of a tight predict- Well, that was smart! Ah! What is up with that scream? Yeah, shut up! Just shut up, alright? <sighs> Third time's a charm now. Let's do this. And we mustn't be seen. No, don't go, don't go. Just stay behind this guy. Quick, hide in your nutshell. Like it's gonna do any good. Oh, good. Okay, made it for the first bit. And we got some rupees over here. Nice. We're nearly maxed out already. Yeah, we need to fall down that hole. So yeah, the bean cell is on the right part. You wanna go on the left, definitely, though. Because there's a pretty good reward you can get. Just wait for this guy to make his way across this boulder. Um. Wait. Wait for this guy. Go, go, go. Alright, so now we're in this under underground part and here's the bean seller well jump jump you're the first customer I've had in a long time do you need any magic beans they sprout leaves as soon as you water them that they do they do mm, I'll give you one free sample so try planting it in some soft soil you can always buy more so, you got magic beans. Plant a patch of soft soil, then press C to plant them in it. Who knows what will sprout up. You can plant them whenever you want, but if you don't water them, the leaves won't grow. Oh, damn it. I shouldn't have caught the fairy. Okay, I'll use it up. Even with the expansion pack, it couldn't render a fairy inside a bottle, instead it just made a blue liquid. Now, even though... Now, the, you can't actually use them as the deco scrub. I know, it's silly. You can basically, like, sample the blue, the magic bean here, but it'll only lead to 20 rupees. One change they did make from Ocarina of Time is... Well, in Ocarina of Time, if you remember, you have to wait seven years for the plants to actually sprout into platforms. Here, it's a bit different. You need to... You need to just chuck water onto them to make them grow. I should probably get caught on purpose just to get out faster. Here we go again. And you... I told you not to go in there! We need to go on the, into the left side now. For more rupees. Wait, will he see me? If I, he probably will. Whoa! Watch out! Oh, nice pattern, bro. Yep. Wow! Sucky God. Okay, grab some more rupees. Wait for this guy. That. To... Oh my God! How am I gonna get? No, he will see me. Don't, don't do that. Oh, good, you just go over there. Okay, this guy's gonna just ignore us because he can't see us. Okay, into this bit. Right over there, you can already see the piece of heart. That's what I'm aiming for. 
Go, 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 go. Pirouette. Okay, not much to go now. Wait for this guy to turn his back. And he walked right through the piece of heart. Go, 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 go. He's running on the spot. Great. I should probably get caught again. Just to get out faster. And I'm maxed out on Rupert, so that's that's great. Alright, so now we've got the magic beans, we've got the water we need. It, it can't be any ordinary water though, that's the catch, that's to be spring water. It can't be the poison water. You can kill this mini baba if you want to get some deco nuts, which might actually be helpful for what you're about to do. But I don't think so. Um, this item doesn't seem to work here. You're standing in front of it! There we go. Alright, now just dump your water on it. And that's actually the only time you need a magic bean in the game. Everything else is optional. It's also worth noting that once you have bought a magic bean from the bean seller in the Deku Palace, then that business group outside the tourist information center will start selling them to you. Rather than be like, oh, you don't know how to use them. Well, I won't sell them you. What a dork. Dork? That's not the right word. What a jerk. Alright, we've got some mad scrubs we have to shoot with bubbles before we can progress. Because now we're going to start flying over. We have to get to us opening in the palace that leads to the monkey's jail. Ow. Go. Go on. Right. The aiming's a bit strange on this. Not that was easy. Um. And also, something I kind of did forget to mention was if you if you charge up a Deku, uh, no, a bubble too much, for too long, it will actually burst and you waste the magic power. Should probably demonstrate. Just hold down the button for too long and it will pop. Right, don't fall. Right, gun of a mad scrub. Alright, just make your way onto that moving platform. Good. Alright. Oh! Not to bubble! Just a generic bubble versus a generic nut. Okay, this is a this is the last platform. Right. So this this platform will take us up to that to that opening right up there. I'll be it quite slowly. And then just pop right out. And there we go. So in we go. And now we're inside the cell. Why won't they believe what I say? Fine, I get it. Then I shall say nothing more to you. Punish me or do whatever else you might. Doesn't look like he trusts Deku's anymore. Well, let's try this. Oh, you! How did you get here? Shh! If they see you, they'll capture you. What? My brothers asked for your help? Ugh, I'm terribly sorry. Just try to cut my rope. We'll talk after that. Mmm, no good after all. I didn't even try! Wait, you don't... You don't happen to have something that can make a lot of noise, like a loud instrument with sound that carries a long way? If you have one, show it to me. Well, we only have one instrument, don't we? We have the ocarina. That tiny thing will never do. Its sound won't carry far enough. Don't you have something else? Well, yeah, I do. The pipes are louder than the ocarina. Oh, you have them! You do! Just like the princess, Deku pipes, those will work great! By the way, 
Who are you? <laughs> Anime fall. Uh oh, we caught their attention. Whoa, that's not important now. Just listen to me. I was trying to find out about the poison in the swamp, so I went to Woodfall Temple above the waterfall. But the temple had become a monster's lair, and the princess was captured by the monster. Since the Deku King thinks I kidnapped the princess, he won't listen to a word I say. Now the princess is in trouble, so I must somehow hurry to the temple and save her. Do you understand my plight? Yeah, I do. Noah's pre-selected again, which is a really jerkish design. So then, that means... You will go in my place and save the princess? Okie dokie! Okay now, I'll teach you the melody that opens the tempo. The princess taught it to me. We can't let them hear us, so I'll sing it softly, even though we've already been caught. So here we have a brand new song which will open up the first dungeon of the game. Right, let's hit it. And we even play quietly as well. So up, left, up, left, A, right, A. See, now they're paying attention to us. The butler's not, though. The generic butler isn't. You learnt the Sonata of Awakening. This melody awakens those who have fallen into a deep sleep. Remember that well, because you need it for much later. Everyone, did you hear that? This melody, which only the Deku royal family knows. It proves the foolish monkey deceived the princess so he could enter the temple. Everyone, let the monkey's punishment commence. But You'd better take the shortcut the Deku people used to get to Woodford Temple. But you must hurry. If you don't, I'll be punished by the Deku King. Don't tell me to hurry. This game's on a time limit as it is. Okay. That will do for now. 23 minutes is quite a long one. So let's end it off here. So next time on Majora's Mask... Well, we better make our way to the temple, shouldn't we? So until next time, see you later.